Hello again. We're doing combinations this time, which is different from permutations, in that order does not matter for a combination. And I'm using the same word by. Uh, you know, we did it for permutation, so let's just show the relationship. You can actually work with uh, more options in a combination, but keeping things consistent. The formula is N, where N stands for the total that you're working with. C stands for it's that a combination. And you know it's a combination or a permutation based on whether order matters or does not. If it's something where order does not matter, it's a combination. If it's something where order matters, it's going to be a permutation. And the formula is n factorial, not an exclamation, over n minus r factorial times r factorial. So we're going to work with the word by. How many different combinations can I use? And this is where students get the words permutations and combinations mixed up. How many different ways can I uh, rearrange the word by using all three letters? But that's it. Just one. That's it. Uh, somebody said, no, you can put the Y first or you can put the E first. Yeah, if it's a permutation because the order is going to matter. But in a combination, order doesn't matter. So as long as you got the B, the Y, and the E, you're fine. Simple as that. If you don't believe me, let's go ahead and try it really quickly using our combination formula. We've got three letters of a combination where we're trying to rearrange three of the letters. And that's equal to 3 factorial over... 3 subtract 3 factorial. 0 factorial is just 1 by definition. Times 3 factorial. So this is just a 1. It's arbitrary. So it's 3 times 2 times 1. Pardon, there's something flying there. Over, that's just 1, over 3 times 2 times 1. Answers 1. There's one possible combination that you can make. And you see that right here. Now, if you want to rearrange the Y and the E, start working with permutations, because this is a combination. Let's do one more example to make sure that everything's copacetic, and hopefully that will be fine. I'm going to erase this now. And the question I have is, well, how many uh, two-letter words can you make, or how many two-letter combinations can you make from the word by? So we've got three letters that we're working with total of a combination. And we're not asking for permutation, we're asking for combination, and we want to know how many two. So that's 3 factorial over 3 subtract 2 factorial times 2 factorial. Before we figure out what this rigorous answer is, let's do this. Okay, there's B and Y, that's one combination. B and E, oops. You could put E and B too, but if you put E, B, you don't have to put B, E. And there's Y, E. Now, order doesn't matter in a combination, so you're not going to put EY because it's the same as YE. You're not going to put YB because it's not, it's not any different than BY in a combination, in a permutation it is. And you're not going to put EB for the same reason. So that's 3 factorial. That's 1 factorial, so that's just 1. It's 3 times 2 times 1 is 3 factorial over 2 factorial, which is 2 times 1. <laughs> three possible combinations. But we already discovered that using a simple sample space. So that's an introduction into combinations. Permutations tend to be more difficult for students because they involve more work. And generally, you'll see more probability type problems with permutations. Uh, we'll be moving on with probability in general. But for right now, have a great day.